Professor Withdrawn, and uh, we're here with a COVID lockdown. And one of my favorite sciences within the world of the French martial arts is that we use blades as well, okay? And that's who's a lot. We use blades. A lot of people do not know that it exists. Uh, we have regional blades from here from Texas, which we'll talk about one, talk about two, and this little series, mini series that we're going to be doing. But also, I'll talk, touch base against with a French knife. Okay, it's called, and in this area, the, the knife is nicknamed Lengua de Gallo, rooster's tongue. It's a nice little cylindrical knife. See that? More like a little point. Okay? What happens with this knife, it goes very easy between the ribs. See? Piercing. So I'll show you guys how we use that, what it's for, and how the language of the guy who plays an importance in our art. In France, you have the Lagua, which is made in little town. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it's a little B. Okay? Now, the laguel and the way you hold it's a little different because both old Spanish blades and French blades, they don't have a locking mechanism. You can literally fold them. Okay? There's a lot of reasons for that. What happens with the laguel and how you hold it and the way you fight with it, it's a lot different. And the way I learned how to use this is by three, three, three professors. One, was not really a professor of mine, but one that I cherished his counsels, okay? Who was Professor Salvini, who already passed on. I met him when he was in his 70s, you know, in the late 70s, going in his 80s. And he taught us Luc Parillan, but he also taught us how to use a laboral, you know? And it's, and it's funny, because he showed us a grip, and that grip was you open your hands, you place right here, and you hold it this way. Okay? That's the way it was held. Well, similarities to that grip, we learned with my uncle. Okay? Which was this way, this way, this way, this way. Okay? So there's a lot of similarities between the European blades. So that being taken, if I'm using it this way, and I'm boxing, I can, I can puncture, hit, move, parry, cut, anything I want. So nice little grip, okay? The grip's name was called the prayer, the wrestle, okay? And with a guy, okay? Very thin, not well, kind of similar, right? So I'm gonna put these away. And I'm gonna put, I'm gonna grab uh, a practice blade, no, it's dull because of the way I'm going to use it. And I'm going to use it in this fashion. And I'm going to have my student Danny go ahead and he's just going to throw some attacks. I'm going to show you exactly how it was done in that time frame. The attacks are going to be jab cross or cross jab or basically whatever he wants. Okay? Uh, so as he comes in, it doesn't matter. Just see what I'm hitting. And that's what I'm going to start. Okay, let me show you this one. Yes, it's it. He comes in. See? One, two. People would say, well, the jab's going to come and he's going to throw the other hand, right? See? I'm using the elbow as a fulcrum. So as soon as it steps in, hey, see? That elbow stays. See? The elbow comes in. It's all you need. Okay, it comes in. Well, that full comes in. Okay? Alright? Goes, he goes left right now. Alright? So it doesn't matter, it comes in. Okay? Ready? Okay? Comes in. Next time, you'll use it to what? The language of what value, okay? 